Hi, this is Will Day. I'm an abstract painter from Boulder, Colorado. I hope you can watch my episode at cricketscrush.com. So I read a little bit about you, Will, and I the thing that I thought was very cute was that this all kind of started in your early teens when you had a teacher named Ms. K. Yeah. Is that right? In school? It is. It's, uh, it started from that. That was the initial spark. So We all have a teacher like that, right, right. who gives us that little get up and go. Uh, then you actually grew up on the East Coast in Connecticut. Correct. Yes. And you went to um, boarding school. Yes. And did that... Did you find that that kind of took you away from it for a little while, or did it keep growing? No, that's a great question. B boarding school really fostered kind of my courage to and be an artist. And you went to Cushing? I went to Cushing Academy. Mm -hmm. So Bob Johnson was really another major factor in um, kind of my development and discovery of art. Wow. And his whole question was, when I first met him, he goes, you know, what does your heart want you to paint? What does your heart want you to create? Where are you? Instead of say sit down in this chair and do a beautiful stick fi or a figure of a face, let's figure out your you know your beauty and understand how that can relate to art. And he fostered that with all kids and right, all students. Right. And then how did it come? How did you kind of morph into this from here? I know there were a lot of diversions along the way, including Wall Street and getting your degree in architecture. But describe to me how you kind of came to where you are today. I mean, it's it's a. Um, it seems very complicated, but it actually is a, uh, it's a wonderful journey because we all have different uh, adventures. And, you know, I started off with um, working in Wall Street and uh, I love that experience, but there was always something inside that I wanted to really unleash creativity, but creativity that was really applied to something that's very visual, like mm -hmm. a canvas. And so after Wall Street, I was like, um, I was ready to kind of find a different change, and I tried advertising. I That's tried. Creative. I tried uh, real estate, then I became an architect. Um, so I got a master's in architecture. Very at impressive. Pratt. So I was like, all right, well maybe I'm 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 trying to move the ball forward. I think the the process is there's no right journey for everybody. You gotta put the first step forward and try to find things that you connect to, right. and eventually art was one of those things that spoke to me, and that's how I ended up here. So I also was reading that you've traveled a lot, and one place in particular that you traveled that I think might have had um, an effect on your work as an artist is Tunisia. Yes. Um, I've traveled a lot. I've never been to Tunisia. <laughs> tell me tell me about it, how it, it has seeped through into your work. That's a great question. Um, I, I almost forget sometimes because we get so uh, clustered in our own world. but. Um, Tunisia really woke up the spirit again, and I was in the Peace Corps for two years, and uh, you know, being in that environment was really unique and different for me because I wasn't never lived in the Sahara Desert, and so most have it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> so what I really got to experience was not only the joy in, in, of the people, but the culture and history, the rich history of the Mediterranean, wow. of North Africa, that Beautiful. completely influenced architecturally me and my designs, and obviously my color palettes, and. Um, and when I was there for two years, I painted or I wrote or I photographed, I couldn't get enough. Really? So something came in that said, time to wake up, Will. Your and artistic so that, alarm clock it, went boom, way off. It's like ring, red flags. And so I attribute a lot of some of the work to those colors of North Africa and Tunisia beautiful. specifically. Very beautiful. This is a three foot by four foot uh, mixed media uh, canvas that is a panel that plays music from the speaker. So you'll see it doesn't vibrate. It's a wonderful technology that really allows the music to flow so smoothly through this canvas. I love it. While I was able to paint directly onto it. And uh, let's turn it around. Turn it around, sorry. So you can see here, I mean, it looks like. Here's the technology box without me getting too technical. Here's obviously the plug that goes through, but it's all through Wi-Fi through a, um, you know, it could be through Sonos or through a, an app of Soundwall that allows you to choose any type of music. And where can our viewers see they, them, find them? You can go to soundwall.com and there is a list of several other artists besides myself that Very have cool. done original art 
um, for But you this want company. the Will Day. But Will Day, let's, you know, plug that in there. <laughs> of course. <laughs> and have some fun. And also your website is um, at your studio in Boulder. It's willdayart.com. Very easy, W-I-L-L-D-A-Y art.com. Well, it was really a pleasure chatting with you, Will. Thank You're you. extremely talented, and I feel Pleasure. honored to have met you and that our paths have crossed, yeah. and uh, maybe we can uh, collaborate on something one day. I hope so. All right. Thank you. Thank you, and thank okay. you for watching Cricket's Crush and another <laughs> episode of The Zhuzhur. <laughs>